DNB system amplifiers provide dedicated setups for all DNB loudspeakers. These contain specific limiters, EQs, and acoustic configuration options. The setups and all associated functions can be accessed from the channel setup screen. Tap a channel button on the home screen to open the respective channel setup screen. The channel name and channel mute button are located in the header section of the screen. To edit the channel name, just tap it and use the input mask which appears. Confirm your entry by pressing OK or cancel this step by tapping the back button to return to the channel screen. The first line of controls shows the dedicated filter functions related to the current loudspeaker setup and a level control. EQ and delay functions can be accessed from the line underneath. The EQ button indicates whether the EQ stage is active. Tap it to open the EQ screen. Here, the EQ can be edited and activated or deactivated. Back on the channel setup screen, you can find the delay function in the same line. The delay function consists of three buttons. The delay on-off button, the delay value and the delay unit which can be set to milliseconds, meters, feet or seconds. To change the delay value, just tap the delay value button and use the rotary encoder. If you have changed the delay unit, the value is adapted automatically. In the next line you can manage the input routing. The currently routed input sources are directly displayed on this button. Any input source of the amplifier can be routed to any amplifier channel, either individually or in combinations. To create a sum of several inputs, just activate them on the input routing screen. Only inputs of the same type, that means either analog or digital, can be summed. Whenever more than one input is routed into an amplifier channel, the total sum is reduced by 6 dB. The availability of the input sources always depends on the input mode settings that you have made in the device setup menu. The speaker button serves to recall loudspeaker setups for the current channel. Tapping the speaker button opens the speaker setup screen. Here you can select the loudspeaker series and the loudspeaker type separately. To change the loudspeaker setup, first select the series and then the desired loudspeaker. If you want to choose the loudspeaker setup V8 line, first select V-series on the series button and then switch to the speaker button and turn the encoder to scroll to V8 line. There are now two possible options to confirm your choice and load the selected loudspeaker setup. Tapping OK will only change the loudspeaker setup but not any additional settings such as user EQs or configuration options. Tapping clear will reset a number of other features of this channel to default values. The reset will include all configuration filter switches, all EQ and delay settings, load and input monitoring, and the channel's level, which will be set to 0 dB and the channel will be muted. Finally, tapping the frequency generator button opens the respective subscreen. The generator is a useful tool to check the amplifier to loudspeaker cabling and the connected loudspeaker itself. Each amplifier channel is equipped with its own generator, which can be set to sine or pink noise. The signal generator is controlled by an on-off switch, a button for the generator level settings, and a button for the specific frequency when sine mode is selected. Just a small hint. The mute switch for the current channel is located in the upper right corner. Muting the channel will also mute the signal of the frequency generator. However, it will not turn off the generator.